Hey what's up guys then my of a simple snippets and this is another video tutorial on C++ programming and fundamentals so in this video tutorial we'll be discussing about the control structure that is for loop in the previous two video tutorials we discussed about conditional control structures that is if else structure and switch case so if you have missed that you can check it out now this video tutorial is based on a looping control structure and specifically we are going to be discussing about for loop and we'll see two different programs with that being said let's start with the programming part because that is the best way you can understand this for loop structure okay so as you can see on the screen i have opened my dev c++ ide and i have written the basic structure of a c++ program and here on top you can see the two questions that i have written down so the first one is write a program to print i am a program of five times and the second question is write a program to print multiplication table of five so before we start with the programming let me tell you when we actually use a for loop now there are three different loop structures in C++ so it is for loop while loop and do while loop now each of these structures are used at different times depending upon the conditions so when do we use this for loop now for loop is used when we know how many times we are going to call the same thing again and again so in the two questions we know that the first question we have to print i am a program of five times that is we know how many times we have to print it and in the second question we also know that we have to print the multiplication table of five that is we have to print 10 different numbers which are multiplicative tables of 5 so for loop is usually used when we actually know how many times we have to do something so with that being said let's start with the programming so here's the syntax for for loop first type the keyword for then open and close parenthesis or round brackets now inside this round brackets there are three different parts the first part is the initialization the second part is the condition and the third part is the increment or decrement operator so let me just type in and i'll explain you what what is exactly happening so in the initialization i create a initialization variable int i equals to 1 so this is the first part where i create a variable whose name is i and data type is integer and the value that it has at this moment is 1 then i type in a semicolon so this is the first part the second part is the condition so i write i less than equal to 5 so this condition means that this for loop should be executed till i reaches 5 now again a semicolon and here now i have to give the incremental factor so i write i plus plus so you know this plus plus is an increment operator which will increase the value of i by 1 in every go then i open and close curly braces and type in c out and i write i am a programmer okay so what will happen is when the program is executing or when the ex program first executes in the first go the variable i value is 1 it will check is i less than equal to 5 so for the first time i value is 1 so yes i is less than 5 so this condition is true so it will go inside this curly braces and print out i am a programmer so when we reach the end of this for loop it will go ahead and increment the value of i which is this incremental factor and it will increment it by 1 so now this time the value of i is 2 so it will again check is 2 less than 5 so as 2 is less than 5 it will again go inside this loop and print i am a programmer again and at the end it will again increment this i value to 3 now this will go on till i value reaches 5 so five times it will print this i am a programmer sentence on the screen and when the value of i is again incremented to 6 it will check here is i less than equal to 5 since i is 6 so this statement becomes false or this condition become false so it will exit out of this loop and it will stop this process so let me just go ahead and compile this and i click compile and run so it will directly run after compilation okay so you can see i am a programmer is printed five times but then it is on a single line so let me just add one more thing to this output i'll concatenate a and l which is sort of like a escape sequence so every time you print it will go to the next line on the command prompt so i'll just click compile and run and there you go you can see it is printed for five times so let's see the second question where if we have to print multiplication table of five so how do we do it so here's what i'll do i'll create a variable int 
x is equal to 5 and then at this line I will write 5 into then I will print the i value again I will concatenate a string and I will write equal to and then I will again print x star i and this has to happen at least 10 times because we need to print the entire multiplication table starting from 1 to 10 so you might be confused what exactly is happening so here's what is happening I'll write it in the comment in the first go when i is equal to 1 this output would be 5 into this i will be replaced by 1 then we have a equal to which is printed as it is so it will come over here and this is an expression where the x value is 5 which is we have defined it at this line and i value in this go is 1 so 5 into 1 would be 5 now for the second round i value is incremented so here it will be 5 into this time i is 2 and again this will remain 5 but this has incremented to 2 so 5 into 2 would be 10 similarly for 10 times we get the entire multiplicative table of 5 so let me just go ahead and compile and execute this ok I again missed the endl construct to print every output on a single line let me just go ahead and do that ok there you go with the multiplicative table of 5 so that's it for this video guys I hope you understood when and why to use for loop and how to actually implement it in a program if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any comments or any queries, you can always put them in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when you upload the next video. Peace.